Hey guys, Dredder here. It's June the 4th, 2013. I'm just out in my yard, uh, sitting beside my garden. Um, just wanted to give you a quick glance of it before I start. And no, there are no tomatoes in there yet. They're still in the greenhouse over at my grandma's house. But uh, they are very close to going in. This is the first sun we've actually had. April and May were really dark, dim, and cool here in Vancouver. So not good weather for tomatoes, that's for sure. But I do have some herbs in there. That's oregano down there. Um, just some spinach and lettuce and some flowers. Garlic along there and that's uh, lemongrass or lemon balm in the corner and mint next to it. But uh, And I have yet to expand this out a little bit. I can use up some of this huge yard. But um, And I will be uh, showing my other garden over at Grandma's house as well. For those who are interested in the gardening stuff, but um, this video is not about that. It's about silver, and it's an update to what I did yesterday. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it below. And uh, this is sort of a continuation on with a bit of that data. Mm. So today is June the 4th, and we have a total update here on the U.S. Mint website of 782,000 ounces of silver eagles sold so far this month, up to and including the 4th. Now, does that include about 500,000, as we thought, uh, from May that was added on? The last few days of May weren't counted, and then all of a sudden, June 1st, we saw about 500,000 appear here. Uh, well, let's have a look. Let's extrapolate that number out. Uh, yesterday, or it was actually the 2nd, um, we did the numbers for the 2nd of June, and we came up with about 8.75 million ounces for June, uh, using those numbers, which was obviously ridiculous. Um, the best June in history is 2011 and that was 3.4 million. So we're expecting somewhere around 3.4 again as we've been meeting or beating all the records so far this year. And uh, we would expect that to happen again in June as long as demand for these products continues to be high. But anyhow, 8.75 million, not going to happen in June, never will happen um, in a June probably. Uh, a January maybe next year would be something that could come up to 8.75 million, um, but not a June and not this June. But anyhow, um, now it's the fourth of the month, so we can calculate that out again and see what we get now. 782,000 multiplied by 30 days in the month and divided by four days so far. We'll come to about 4.9, oh, sorry, 5.9 million. 5.9 is still way over the 3.4 record June. Um, so we know this number, there's something wrong with this number, um, but the discrepancy is getting smaller. It's not 9 million anymore, it's 5.8 or 5.9 million. So um, that 500,000 eventually will blend into June's numbers. But I think that you can see that there are about 500,000 ounces in June that weren't supposed to be there. Um, as June continues and we continue to sell through um, a fairly steady pace of uh, Silver Eagles, this projected number will drop down closer and closer towards 4 million as we go through the month. But anyway, right now we have 5.86 or almost 5.9 million and we can take that over to a chart. Okay, there's that 5.89 million right there, June, the projected June total anyhow. Hopefully you're familiar with this graph by now. Uh, I've been doing it for a couple of months. The orangish color is the records over the past 27 years for Silver Eagle sales in each month. Uh, and this, of course, grows as we go through the year, adding more months on to the right. And the green is 2013. So yeah, here we have that number. It's not going to be um, 5.89 million by the time we get to the end of the month. Like I said, it should be somewhere around 4 or so. As you see here in March, the record was not quite met. We were something about 0 0.02 million away. I don't think you can even tell on this chart that the green is slightly below the orange, but it is. And um, some of those numbers was um, added to April 1st's data. So April, April ended up being a little bit higher than it probably would have been, um, well above the old record. Now here we have the same thing happening in May, and you can see that that is just below the old all-time record for a May, which was 2011, 3.64. And uh, we were just below that, 3.47, I think it was. Um, million ended up in May, and so it was just below. And we will expect this um, 2013 figure to be somewhere around 4, again, like it was in April, because there's about 500,000 ounces from May that got added to June the 1st, just so that this wouldn't be a 
record and another headline. And people ask, well, why would the Mint want to avoid headlines? Um, there's a lot of reasons. I'm not going to go into all of them here, but let's just uh, suffice it to say right now that the Mint isn't just like any other business in that they aren't trying to increase their sales. The Mint actually uh, doesn't want to sell a lot. You don't hear a lot of advertisements for Silver Eagles on, say, the football uh, halftime show or anything like that, right? Um, no, they aren't necessarily interested in increasing their sales, so that's why the Mint likes to stay away from numbers. Um, the government likes the fiat unit uh, to be uh, preferable to people and for people to be talking about and looking at and interested in and holding those fiat units, which are U.S. dollars. They're not interested in people um, collecting and accumulating silver and gold bullion. They have to um, sell silver and gold bullion to the citizens of the country because of the Constitution and the Coinage Act and things like that. Um, and there'd be a huge outcry if they, you know, illegalized bullion sales. Uh, well, not a huge, huge outcry. It would have been bigger 50 years ago. Uh, but there still are people who would um, stand up and fight if that happened, and I would be one of them. But back on topic, no, the Mint is not necessarily interested in uh, selling more of these products. They do almost no advertising, uh, no promotion. It's just word of mouth, and, uh, you know, if you want silver, you can get it from the Mint, but they're not out to... Uh, to market towards you at all. So no, they aren't interested in breaking records or announcing that records have been broken. But uh, 2013 is shaping up to be, well, as I said last night, there's almost no way now, even if sales stopped right now, for this year to be not a record year. Uh, we're already the fifth best year ever and only 42% of the way through the year. And the graph I think that people are really waiting to see is the divergence graph that shows the divergence between the price and the demand for Silver Eagles. And uh, I think I will have that either tomorrow, that's Wednesday, or the day after, Thursday. And uh, that will be up for your viewing pleasure. But uh, I'm working on a few enhancements to that chart just to make it a little bit more refined and a little bit more useful. So uh, look forward to that. But until then, I'll talk to you guys soon.